Number 20. Using the Bohr model, determine the lowest possible energy in joules for the electron in the Li2 plus ion. Okie dokie. All right, so there's two possible equations that we know thus far with the Bohr model, right? One of them is E, the energy of a certain shell, is equal to negative K, Z squared over N squared, versus the change in energy equals K, times 1 over n1 squared minus 1 over n2 squared. The first thing we got to figure out is which equation are we going to use? Well, let's think about it. Did they tell us that we were jumping electrons or we were moving electrons from one shell to another shell? And remember, a shell is the n number. So this is the shell number, aka the principal quantum number. Okay, so nowhere in here did it say that it, we were jumping from shell to shell. So this equation, the one that has two different n values, would be basically not the right one, right? We would be using the one on the left-hand side. So I'm just going to erase this one because this one is not the one that we're going to be using, but that's how you kind of like deduce your thought process um, on the test or quiz, all right? So now we just got to figure out what all these constants are so that we could plug it in. Well... Remember, k is a constant number. It's the Rydberg uh, constant, which is 2.179 times 10 to the negative 18 joules. So we know what the k is. Z is called the nuclear charge. And the nuclear charge is basically the, another way of saying this is the charge, charge of the nucleus. So this comes from how many protons are in the nucleus, because in the nucleus, the only thing that has charges are the protons. And that's why I gave this lovely diagram of the lithium that you would find on a periodic table. Lithium's atomic number is always three, which means that in ground state, meaning no charge, you should have... So I'll just put this ground state means no charge in ground state of a lithium ion. It should have three protons, which would give us a plus three charge. And it would also have three electrons, which would give us a negative three charge, making the whole thing neutral ground state. So what would be the nuclear charge, the Z of this one? Well, it's just the protons. And the protons here are three. So in this case, the Z would be three. Or a plus three, technically, because it's positive. Now we just have to figure out what the N value is. Okay, well, they tell me that it's a lithium two plus ion. What does this two plus mean? Remember, the um, numbers in the upper right-hand corner are always the charges. So plus two means that you, I'll just say, lost two electrons. This goes back to your isotopes in chapter one. So if, if you feel that you may need more practice, just go back to chapter one and find those questions. They're there for you. There's tons of them. So with a plus two charge, it just means that you lost two electrons. Well, if we come back over here, ground state told me that I had three electrons. So I had three, but now I lost two. So minus two so now I only have one electron left. And basically the only element that basically has one electron is hydrogen, right? So this would be classified as hydrogen-like. And that's why we can use the Bohr model because Bohr only did experiments for these, um, this relationship on hydrogen. So it kind of had to be hydrogen-like in order to use these equations. So, um, so yeah, so where were we? Okay, so now we need to just find out what the N was. Now remember, there's a nucleus, right, of an atom, and that's where all the protons are. So there's a plus three here, right? There's three pluses because there's three protons. But there's only one electron. So that means that the electron has to be in the first shell outside of the nucleus, right? 
And what is this shell where this electron is located? What is this number for it? This would be n equals one because it's the first shell off of the nucleus. So now we know that we have an n equals one number and the k is a constant number. So now we're ready to just solve. So here we go. The energy en equals negative. The negative is in the equation. A lot of students get that confused. So 2.179 times 10 to the negative 18th times z, which we said was a plus three, and that's squared, Oop. all over n squared, which is just one squared. So basically it's over one. So I could just multiply the numerator. So the energy in joules of this lithium two plus ion would be negative 2.179 times 10 to the negative 18th um, times three squared is technically nine. So just times by nine. So you get a negative 1.96 times 10 to the negative 17th, and that's in joules. E n is always in joules. So box that answer off. That's the answer to this problem. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> but yeah, so make sure that you know how to use this formula. Make sure how you know how to get those variables, z and n. And but that's all that it is. And then just using the formula and solving. So Thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope this helped. If it did, click the like button. Let me know in the comments. Love to hear from you guys. Um, yeah, other than that, I mean, we're just going to keep rolling, right? How are you guys doing in your class? Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. If you want, you can click the subscribe button. Gives access to tons of people all over the world to this awesome channel, if I don't say so myself. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next question. Bye-bye.